hi everyone welcome back in this video we are going to learn about functional interfaces in java so functional interfaces are introduced in java 8 and we are going to learn a lot about functional interfaces in this video tutorial an interface that contains exactly one abstract method is known as a functional interface and add functional interface annotation is added to the functional interface so that we can mark an interface as a functional interface okay so add functional interface annotation we can use to you know annotate an interface so that we can mark it as a functional interface so adding this add fun add functional interface annotation is not you know mandatory but it's a best practice to use it with the functional interfaces to avoid the addition of extra methods accidentally if the interface is annotated with add functional interface annotation and we try to add uh, more than one abstract method it throws a compiler error all right so it's a best practice to use add function interface annotation on top of functional interfaces so i'm going to show you how to use or how to create a custom function interface with add function interface annotation a bit later so it can have any number of default static methods but can contains only one abstract method all right so functional interface can have any number of default uh, static methods but can contain only one abstract method for example there are uh, you know uh, predefined functional interfaces are there in you know, a java jdk or uh, introduced in java 8 so these interfaces contains uh, you know default and static methods apart from you know a single abstract method that i will show you a bit later a functional interface can extend another interface only when it does not have any abstract method so let me switch to the eclipse id and let us implement a functional interfaces so look at here this is the runnable functional interface and it is annotated with add functional interface annotation all right so runnable is a built-in interface in jdk and it has annotated with add functional interface and it has only one abstract method that is run method all right and functional interface can have you know any number of default and static methods right so look at here uh, the consumer is a predefined function interface and it has a single abstract method and it con also contains a default method here all right so remember these points in case of function interfaces like an interface that contains only one abstract method is called function interface and functional interface can contains you know any number of default and static methods but it should have only one abstract method like this and the enable interface callable interface comparator interface so these are the interfaces uh, which are annotated with add functional interface and you can use a lambda expressions to implement these interfaces okay now let's go ahead and let us see how to create our own custom functional interface so let me create an package and uh, i'm just give a name as functional interfaces and uh, here what i will do is i am going to create a class and i'm going to name as custom functional interface and here I am going to create a custom function interface interface and I am going to new, give a name as printable alright and let's create a method wide print and just pass a parameter single parameter to this method string message alright now look at here we have defined an interface with a single abstract method so by default the methods in the interface are public and abstract so we no need to add uh, abstract keyword here okay and let's annotate this interface with add functional interface annotation okay now we have created our own custom functional interface so if you try to add few more functional interfaces uh, if you try to add a uh, few more abstract methods then it will give a compile time error 
all right because we are added uh, add function interface to this interface so that this in, in this annotation make sure that a functional interface should have only one abstract method okay so let's go ahead and let's implement our instance at this functional interface using lambda expression let's quickly create a main method and here create a printable instance so let's use anonymous first so without using lambda lambda expression how we can how the look code looks like so if we use lambda uh, if we use anonymous expression or anonymous implementation the code looks like this let's print a message and pass here the message argument and here uh, just call a print method and just pass here some message here uh, functional interfaces all right demo all right and let's go ahead and let's run this program yeah here is the output now what we'll do we'll rewrite this code with a you know with a lambda expression let me comment out and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a, a lambda expression printable printable and look at here the syntax for lambda expression and here we just provide a sys out here and look at here uh, we are passing a single argument to the print method right so we need to provide an argument here this is the single parameter we are passing to the lambda expression here and what we will do is we just call the print method and here we pass uh, the same message like functional interface interfaces demo okay simple and let's run this program and here we go pretty simple right so this is how we use lambda expression to, inst to instantiate a functional interface or to provide implementation for functional interfaces okay pretty simple right now what we will do there are uh, three different functional interfaces available in JDK or Java 8 plus then we are going to use few of the functional interfaces and we use lambda expression to implement these func functional interfaces all right let us see how to do that so let's go ahead and let's use predicate uh, you know functional interface so right click and let's me create a class and let me name it as predicate example and the predicate is a functional interface that we are going to implement here so predicate uh, you know predicate is a functional interface that contains exactly one abstract method that is a test method okay so let me show you how to use the predicate uh, interface create a main method and before that here let's create a person class with uh, name and age parameters okay name and age uh, instance variables and let's create a, a constructor quickly and let's also create a get a setter methods to access these private fields okay great now let's create a predict predicate uh, instance predicate okay and here we pass a person class and uh, let's use it and here we use lambda expression okay and we need to pass a single argument here because a predicate interface contains you know one abstract method that is test and it it has a single argument okay and as i mentioned earlier functional interface can contain any number of default and static methods but it should have only one abstract method okay now predicate interface contains only one abstract method and this is what we are going to you know implement using lambda expression now we need to pass a single parameter here 
and here is the person dot get age and just we are going to check whether the person age is greater than 30 and here we just get the result from predicate test method let's pass uh, object of the person here person and I am going to pass person name as Ramesh and age as 29 okay and I am going to print the result right so this is how we can use a lambda expression to implement a predicate interface so let's run this program yeah here we go false it returns false and uh, let us say if I pass here 31 then it should return a true okay so this is how we use a lambda expression to you know implement predefined interface uh, functional interface that is predicate now let's say uh, one more uh, example so there are uh, you know a lot of predefined function interfaces are there for example predicate function and uh, supplier consumer by function by consumer all right so we'll see a few more example uh, using few more predefined function interfaces now let us see a few more examples using predefined uh, you know function interfaces so supplier is one more function interface and let us see how to use a lambda expression to implement supplier interface so in case of supplier interface we need to you know uh, provide an implementation using lambda expression so let us see how to do that so let me create a class and I will give a name as supplier example and let's create a main method okay so first we'll see uh, the definition of supplier so uh, let us see the internal implementation so look at here supplier interface is annotated with add function interface and it has only one abstract method that is get method and it gets the result okay and this supplier interface represents a supplier of the results all right so let us see how to implement this interface using lambda expression so in previously we have created a person class so let's use this person class here supplier equal to so let's use a lambda expression here and here we let's use a curly braces and let's return a new instance of the person class and let me pass Ramesh and the age as 29 so as uh, the name suggests this interface is used to just supply the results for example in our case it's a person object now what we will do we will just use a get method here to get the person object and let's use this get method to get a person object and we store it in a person object separately and let's use a sysout here and let's print this age and name alright pretty simple so, so this is how we basically use a lambda expression to implement a supplier function interface it's pretty simple right so let's go ahead and let's run this program yeah here is the output all right so supplier interface uses to just you know supply the results like supply the object here in our case it's a personal person object now what we'll do we'll see one more uh, example that is uh, there is a one more function interface that is a consumer so let's go ahead and let's see how to use a consumer uh, functional interface all right so let's go ahead and let's create a class and its name is consumer example and let's create a main method now what we'll do we'll create a list of person objects list here and new array list all right and let's create 
let's create let's add a few persons so I am going to add Tony and I'm going to add age as 45 alright and let's add a few more persons Tony Tom Ramesh alright now what we'll do we'll use a for each loop for each method to iterate over a list and then we use a consumer method to consume this person object okay so let's go ahead and let's use a for each method here and for each method so look at here for each method internal users consumer interface let me show you so look at here that's why i am just i'm just demonstrating you how to use for each loop to iterate over a list of elements and for each internal users consumer interface and look at here here we are passing this consumer interface to the for each method as an argument and we are here we are just uh, you know uh, calling accept method of consumer interface so i hope you understood so this is what the functional uh, you know functional programming right so we are just passing a consumer object and we are just using this consumer uh, interface uh, here so we can pass a consumer instance anywhere and we can uh, you know use it anywhere so this is what the functional programming right and now what we will do here uh, just we pass a person object here and uh, we use lambda expression and what we can do is we can we can print here the person okay so this so this is how we can use a for each method with a consumer interface to iterate over a list list of elements and let us see one more example so let's use a consumer interface now consumer interface show in consumer interface and let's pass a person and let's create a consumer instance using lambda expression and here uh, we need to you know just consume the person object and here we just print a person object details to the console before that this should accept a single argument and here we just print a person object to the console person dot get name person dot get age good now what we'll do we call the accept method and here we pass a person object here I'm going to your name as Ramesh and age as 29 yeah that's it let's go ahead and let's run this program yeah here is the output all right so this is how we use a consumer predefined function interface uh, with a lambda expression okay I hope you understood how to use function interfaces using lambda expression so this is all about the functional interfaces so if you want to know more about functional interfaces and you can just uh, visit my website java 8 tutorials over there i have you know implemented all the predefined functional interfaces with an example so i will provide a link in the description just go through it all right thanks for watching uh, subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish new videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video